Hello, welcome to our monthly performance monitor. My name is Barney Hawkins, Investment Director at True Potential. Volatility has continued with markets moving rapidly, but in the main not really going anywhere and returns depending more on currency movements than anything else. The US economy is clearly leading the way in terms of growth. It's further through the recovery cycle and the Fed is likely to raise rates twice more this year if it can do so without causing harm to ongoing economic growth. The substantial tax cuts and federal spending are helping to counterbalance the negative effect from rate hikes and the end of quantitative easing. Unemployment in the US is now at levels not seen since 1969, so attention is focused on whether tighter labour markets end up generating wage price inflation and higher prices. That said, market reaction has generally been sanguine around the recent interest rate rises. In Europe, the tapering of quantitative easing has also passed without much reaction. However, it does seem that political uncertainty is having a restraining effect on market returns. The potential for Quitaly, or Italy leaving the Eurozone, is slight, but not inconsequential. Italy's political environment has always been fraught. In the 63 years since the end of World War II, the country has had 64 different governments in power. The overall view is that Italy will stay within the European Union and views on Europe remain positive. But the political situation is making some managers reappraise this area and marginally trim their exposure. Emerging markets have been under a lot of pressure from higher oil prices, interest rate rises feeding through from the US and the strengthening US dollar. It's important to remember that there remain big differences between various emerging economies in terms of debt levels and political uncertainties. India is very different to Argentina, Turkey very different to China. And our managers are particularly discerning about where they invest and aware of the risks they face. Whether the financial markets generally are equally discerning remains to be seen. In the UK, the overall view is mixed. Economic data is improving and the consensus view is that the Bank of England will hike rates when it can, possibly in August and or November. There's a more positive view when it comes to UK equities. Larger market capitalisation stocks in the top 100 index offer international exposure. They're more exposed to growth across the global economy, but at valuations lower than other developed markets generally. Moving on to bond markets, our managers are holding bonds more for diversification to mitigate risk rather than as a way to generate high returns. Should equity markets turn, high quality government bonds can offer protection, but credit sensitive bonds may struggle if spreads widen. As we've said before, this year looks set to be characterized by periods of volatility. Interest rates are generally headed higher, but the speed and extent to which they will be raised will be very data dependent. In the first half of the year, we've seen interest rate expectations vacillate, and we can expect this uncertainty to continue as events unfold. As ever, diversification and a close eye on risk will remain key. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next month. Hello and welcome to today's review of the True Potential portfolios. My name is Chris Leyland and I'm an investment director here at True Potential. So the format for today is that I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about our flagship investment product. So that is the True Potential portfolio range. But firstly, what I want to do is actually discuss the performance of the portfolios. What we'll then see is what are the key themes that we're seeing from our fund manager partners. Finally, discuss what changes have been made over the month particularly in respect of our new addition to the fund lineup that is a true potential fund range in partnership with both HSBC and Bank of Montreal. Okay, so starting off with performance, the month of June has seen the portfolios lose some ground with both equities and bonds struggling over the period. But you've got to remember that has been after what's been a very positive last couple of months. If we look over the longer term, the track record's excellent with investors seeing returns of over 40% since launch. That's for the more aggressive portfolios. 
Okay, so let's look more in depth at stock markets themselves. Asia and emerging markets underperform the more developed areas as worries around what effect the Federal Reserve's, so the US equivalent of the Bank of England's rate rising program will have on the more indebted areas. The US produced positive returns, however, with the fiscal stimulus through cuts in taxation, helping to continue to drive US company earnings. For bonds, inflation-linked bonds were the standout performers with break-even inflation rates in the US rising. Okay, so let's move on to the performance of the underlying funds that make up our portfolios. The True Potential UBS fund range has been relatively one of the strongest performers. So UBS holds assets such as CARS, their currency fund, which offers uncorrelated returns to both equity and bond markets. The True Potential Goldman Sachs Income Builder Fund also showed good returns with their strong stock picking ability shining through. The portfolio's overweight position to UBS has been a real benefit for June. Okay, so let's move on to the key themes. And this is after we've spoken to our investment partners. So what overall are we seeing? So the general view is one of a constructive growth picture with market participants adjusting their expectations to a higher interest rate environment. All investors are watching the US further through the recovery cycle than other developed areas, raising rates and taking away stimulus. Currently, the strategy has been very effective and now other areas are looking to follow. Within the UK, it now feels likely that we'll see a rate rise in August, although the MPC members have caveated that this is very much data dependent. Trade wars between the US and the rest of the world are a concern, but it's in nobody's interest to allow this to escalate. As you know, true potential never sits still, and we always look to innovate. We're incredibly proud to announce the launch of our new Truth Potential Growth Aligned Fund Range, a new fund range managed by the team behind the True Potential portfolios. And that's in partnership with both HSBC and Bank of Montreal. The fund is low cost, accessing both active and passive investment styles with a groundbreaking fee construction aligning clients' interests with True Potential. Over the month, we've added the second tranche of the new fund range into our baseline portfolios of defensive, cautious, balanced, growth, and aggressive. This means approximately a drop in the fees on the portfolios, the baseline portfolios, of around four basis points, offering you what is a better value product with even more style diversification. That's everything from me. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you next time.